Hey all, Wild Kyle, welcome back to the channel. I'm with my friend Michigan Rocks here again. Check out his channel, linked down in the description below. And Rob's taken me to a really cool spot today to hunt for Devonian aged fossils, which are around 360 million years old. That's way older than anything I ever find in Florida, so I'm super excited about it. And we're gonna be hunting here at the beautiful Partridge Point. So we're gonna spend a little bit of time here and we're gonna try our best to hit some other locations today as well. Today we're going to be looking for a lot of things like crinoid stems, brachiopods, death plates full of like cool marine life and stuff all in just a, a plate of stone. So all kinds of really cool stuff and I'm super excited to see what we can find. So let's get to walking the beach, find some cool fossils. All these rocks literally have tons of fossils, crinoids and stuff like that. And these are old fossils. That is just ridiculously cool stuff. And you can see just the natural rock formation exposed here along the beach, Devonian, 360 million years old. That is incredible. So Rob was saying he likes to kind of come up here on the shoreline and move around some of these big rocks and look in this small gravel for little fossils and stuff. And look at that, part of a crinoid stem right there. That's pretty cool. I'm hoping to find some long pieces. Look, there's another piece of one right there. I want to find a big long chunk of them stuck together still. That would be really cool. You can see like in these rocks, I mean, look at this. That's all crinoid stems stuck in that little stone right there. And crinoids are pretty crazy animals. I'll put some photos up on the screen for you all to see them. But this is really cool stuff. Right there's a little longer section of a crinoid stem right there. Just a little bit. There's a few of them still stuck together. I'll throw that in the bucket. That's pretty cool. That almost looks like a little tiny brachiopod there. I believe it is. Look at that. <laughs> Just a little tiny, tiny brachiopod shell. That's cool. There's another decent crinoid stem right there. A little larger. That's pretty cool. Check out right there. My first pretty nice brachiopod. Those are just awesome looking little shells. I'm just obsessed with how old they are. I mean, it's just incredible to me. Coming from Florida where everything's geologically really young then getting 360 million year old fossils is just exciting. Throw that in the bucket. All right, got a couple cool things right here, everybody. A pretty nice chunk of crinoid stem, and there's another little one small section of it. So that's pretty cool stuff, and I'll throw that in the bucket. And then we got these guys right here. So this funky looking stuff is a bryzoan. And they're like called a, a moss animal, I guess, but they were a, a sort of filter feeder. And from what I looked up and read, they had these little tentacles that would come off and filter feed off the sea floor. They're pretty cool looking, so I'm definitely going to keep some examples of that today. Right there's kind of cool. That's a brachiopod in the rock matrix right there. One of those longer shells. I can't remember the species name, but that's a pretty cool one right there. This is kind of cool right here, everybody, just sitting in the bedrock. Look at the big chunk of crinoid stem right there. And if you scan this, look at right there. Look at all the crinoid bits just mashed into that rock. And all kinds of, look at them right there. That is just so cool to see. Look at part of a big coral or something right there, like a big horn coral maybe. The little corals sitting right on the top there as well. There's a big plate of it with just all kinds of little dead stuff. Oh, and right there too. These little chunks of, look at that big crinoid chunk right there. These things are just way too cool. I, I'm going to end up taking way too much of this home, but I can't help myself. <laughs> that right there is coming home with Wild Kyle. Big chunks of crinoid stems in that little death plate, as I will call it. That is awesome. And all the little rocks right here have just really cool stuff in them. Got a very nice little brachiopod right there. I love those little shells. And right over here, check that out. This little death plate. This is a crinoid stem in there. I like that little piece as well. I will take it. So I stopped to take a look at this really cool death plate right here. It's got brachiopods, crinoid stems in it, bryzoans, all kinds of cool stuff. But then I looked up here for a second I noticed right down there is a very, very nice, large brachiopod. Look at that one. 
That's the biggest one of the day for me so far, and that thing is just really beautiful. Love these little shells. So that's going home with me. There's a big old crinoid stem right there. I like that one a whole lot. Really cool. Keep it in the bag. Yeah. That's a pretty cool one sitting right here. Look at this. That's a big horn coral right there in the rock. And if you look on the other side, there's some more of it right there. I think I'm gonna keep that one at least until I possibly find a better one because that one's really cool. There's just something magical about seeing a, a frog hanging out on 360 million year old rocks. The cycle of life. Man, I love that piece right there. That is a huge chunk of crinoid stem. I love that. I will take it. There is a very cool little brachiopod right there. Let's get it wet because I think it'll show up better. Yeah, that one's cool. Just a cute little guy. He'll come home with me. Here's another little brachiopod right there. That one's like a little chalky or something. But I like, ooh, what is that? Slime. Not a bad little fossil. A big, long crinoid stem chunk right there, which is pretty cool. I'm going through this stuff, raking through like this, looking for anything cool popping out, and there's just a bunch of cool stuff. And lots of spiders. Hey, little buddy. Check out right here. I was about to move that big rock, and right there is a nice... Very nice brachiopod, just waiting to be plucked up. That is sweet. I'll throw that in the bucket. I've got about four of those now, so that's exciting. Man, I'm loading up on the brachiopods. Look at that. Another one. I just love these little things. They look so cool. Sweet little shell. Look at that bryzoan right there. It is worth keeping right there. Because that's just a pretty cool example of it. Let me get even closer. So y'all can see that. Weird little mesh looking pattern. Filter feeder. That yeah, big old crinoid stem right there. Just a big fat boy. That's sweet. All right, everybody. I got something I really wanted to find at this location today. Look at that blastoid right there. That's an incredibly nice specimen right there. So these are echinoderms, or type of echinoid, and they would have a stem coming off. Um, I can't remember the, some common name for them, like a flower thing or something like that, but those would grow on the sea floor with a stem hanging down like that. That is just such a cool fossil. Super excited about that one. That's nice. Let's get this little guy wet, and you can see that detail even better on there. Focus, there it goes. That's exciting, everybody. What a cool fossil. Doesn't it kind of look like a seed? <laughs> that is sweet. All right, everybody. Just minutes after I found that crazy blastoid, Rob pulled out a crinoid head, which is right there, in his fist. But you have to watch Rob's video to go see that find. I'm going to find myself one, hopefully. But go check out Rob's video to make sure you see that as well. It's a good one. <laughs> he said it's a real good one. Look at that big old frog right there. He's huge. Hanging out on the fossils. Look at all of those crinoid stems in the bedrock right there at the bottom. Really long ones. That's so cool. Well preserved. Look at that. Hey, there's one. There's one down in that little crack. This is just crazy looking. Look at all that. I love it. Y'all aren't gonna believe this. I was just talking about how cool it would be to find a crinoid head in the rock, like in the matrix, and Rob literally just found that. Oh, I'm dripping. Rob literally just found that as we're walking. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I gotta try and summon some more stuff. Look at all the crazy amount of just crinoid pieces in there. I mean, that just looks awesome. I just love that stuff. I think it looks so cool. A death plate. I will take it. So we found a bunch of cool stuff right here in just a very short amount of time. Two crinoid heads, which remember you gotta check out Rob's video to see one of them. <laughs> and that blastoid that I found, which was super exciting. That's like a day maker for me right there, so I'm super happy with that. But we're gonna go ahead and leave this beach and we're gonna head to another location. 
where we will be looking for more Devonian aged fossils, but a little bit more different variety in some of these other spots. So I'm super excited to go check that out. Let's go. All right, everybody, we're at the next location right here on Burke Hall. Burke. Burke Holder Drive. Burke Holder Drive in Alpena, Michigan. And we're going to be hunting Devonian fossils right in this little ditch right here behind us. And we should be finding some brachiopods and other cool things like that as well. So I'm excited to crawl down there and see what we're going to find. Let's do it. All right. We're walking down in the ditch. And you can see basically all the formation right through here. So we're going to be looking for little fossils sticking out of that. I'm going to have Rob show me exactly what to look for. But... This is a cool little spot. All right, look at this stuff right here all on the wall, everybody. Look, there's a little, whoop, a little brachiopod right there. Very well preserved. And what is it? I don't know. Oh, a little plant. Or is it, or is that? <laughs> yeah, it was a plant. <laughs> <laughs> there's like little crinoid stems all over the place through here as well, too. Look at just the little discs. Those are kind of cool. I'll have to keep a couple of those. Oh, there's a brachiopod right there. Nice one. Yeah, this is a cool little spot. A pretty nice looking brachiopod right here. I'm going to try and pop out. Whoa! Yeah, that's a pretty cool one. Got some clay stuff stuck on it up there, but I'll probably be able to break that off. But that one looks pretty nice. It's kind of interesting when you get way down low here. You get these little chunks of rock and stuff. And look at all these little coral chunks and stuff like that. And then there's brachiopods just all over the place. That little one. Oh, look, at that's a nice one right there. See if I can get that one out without breaking it. Yeah, that's a nice one right there. And then I saw, what's this guy right here? This looks like a pretty nice one. If I can get it out, got it. So that's a nice one too. And there's just so much nicely preserved little Devonian fossils in this clay. This is a cool little spot. Oh, look at the, look at that brachiopod right there. That's one of the ones with the wings. I can't remember the species name on those, but... Sadly, that one side's busted off, but that would have been a big one. That is awesome. There's a great little brachiopod right there. That's a pretty one, and some weird corals and stuff down here as well, which are really cool. There's a nice little brachiopod right there. A little bit larger than some of the ones right here. A nice one. Got to show you all this thing, because that's just a, such a funky-looking little coral. But it's pretty cool. I don't even know what type of coral you would call that, but I like it. Hey, right, right here, y'all. I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a brachiopod right there. And it's one of these ones with these nice, like, wings coming off of it. And if it's not broken, that's going to be a really nice one. So I'm going to try and carefully move some of this dirt around it and extract it. Hopefully, it's complete. Oh man, it's a complete one. Look at that. Oh, it's a little bright. Hold on, let me just change that just a little bit for y'all. There we go. Now that's exciting. I've wanted one of these ones. I really like this species. I'll probably put the species name up on the screen because I can't remember offhand. But that is one of the coolest brachiopods I've found today. That is awesome. Right there. I got a nice crinoid stem right there. That one looks really well preserved. And I had something else right here. That one. Look at that little shape on that crinoid stem. It's like a star. That's really cool. And it's just a little piece. I'm going to keep that little piece because that's neat. Some sort of different species or something. Check it out right there. A cute little brachiopod. And another one right there which is very nice and all kinds of weird little corals right here I actually really like those little coral pieces so I'll keep some of those as well look at all these great little fossils from this little spot it's in a ditch it is awesome a nice brachiopod right there that one's very nice I like it go in the bucket with all my amazing old fossils look at them right everybody you see that that rains coming down this camera can't get too wet so we're going to use this time to drive over to another location. 
All right, everybody, it's still raining just a little bit, but looks like on the radar, it's gonna be passing through here really quick, so it's just sprinkles right now. But we finally made it to Rockport Quarry, which is an abandoned quarry, which we are able to come to and collect at, and we're gonna be finding more Devonian-aged fossils. And here, we actually have a chance of finding these fish scale fossils that are extremely rare, so we might not find it, but I'm gonna keep my eyes open for it just in case. And we had to show this beautiful view just for a second before we get over to the quarry, because check out how high, how high up we are. I don't know if you can tell how high we are, but we're pretty high up, and the water is beautiful down there, and the quarry is over that way. So we're gonna be checking that out here in just a minute. And before we get over to the quarry, just have you look down there. Look how gorgeous that is. We are extremely high up. I don't wanna to get too close to this edge, but that, is way down there and it's just a beautiful view up here on the beautiful lake. So that's where we were just standing letting you know where we were at. We found a way down. Look at that big cliff side. We're right down here on the beach now and it's pretty cool. Look at all this coral fossils like that right there and all these rocks have little fossils and stuff in them. A little taste of what we might see in the quarry. These are some pretty cool looks like possibly horn coral sections in that big stone. I really like how they stick out against the black rock. Very cool looking. Look how cool this little spot is. We don't see rocks like this down in Florida too much. These are huge. This is just super fun stuff. I'm gonna go climb over here and have a good time. Rob's over there balancing. Hopefully we don't slip. It's a little slippery. Oh my gosh. How about a death plate the size of three car hoods. <laughs> Look at all that stuff in there. Literally all that is crazy corals. That is so cool looking. Look at that thing. It's huge. Look at my feet on here just for comparison. Look at us. We're standing on this thing. Nothing but fossils. That's probably the biggest fossil I've ever touched. <laughs> So if any of you have any idea what could possibly be causing this shape here, let me know in the comments below. It's, it's something that does that. I don't know how well you can see those lines going that way. And if you look, there's some right there too. And on this crazy fossil rock, there's some right there as well. And it's gotta be something that causes that. I'm just not 100% sure what, because you can see some right here too. Some sort of structure makes that. I don't know if it'd be a big coral or something else, but. It's pretty dang cool, whatever it is. Look at another one right there. I mean, they're really cool. They're cool looking, kind of geometric. I don't know, if y'all have any ideas, let me know in the comments, but it's interesting. And it's, oh gosh, it's beautiful out here, everybody. Look at this rock right here. Check that out. That is just loaded with crinoid stems. That would probably look so cool, cut and polished, but that's a huge rock. That stuff is really neat looking. And there's just all kinds of cool stuff laying around here look at that big old fossil coral everywhere i mean it's just everywhere right here it's it's literally endless there's a little petoskey stone right there they're not great quality at this spot but a petoskey stone nonetheless this rock's kind of cool look at that color on there it's just a conglomerate of all kinds of junk just mixed into one giant rock and it's really pretty i don't know what you'd call that but i like looking at it all right, fun little beach walk right there, but we're gonna go ahead and head over to the quarry over there and see what else we can find. And jump in the car, let's go. So we're walking down into the quarry now. It's actually really pretty right here. All the little pine trees growing up through the rocks and stuff like that. And you can see way over there, probably can't see it through the camera, there's a big giant ledge from a big hole or something over there. Yeah, I can see it over there too. But it looks like some interesting rocks. I'm excited to get to look in here in a minute. Look at this here, it's getting even more rocky now. I mean, it's just crazy amounts of rocks. And Rob has a little spot with some loose fossils that he said is one of his favorite spots in here. So that's where we're headed right now. So this is the little spot that Rob was talking about right here. A pretty cool little pile, mostly of clay and stuff like that. There's gonna be a little fossil hall in this actually. I just saw right there. Hey, where is it? Where to go? Right there is a little brachiopod. A little nice one and there's a little crinoid stem right there as well. So we're gonna scour this little hill and see what we can find. There's a cool little brachiopod right there. I love the way it's just sitting there on the clay waiting to be picked up. That's awesome. Look at, oh, I wasn't even on. Look at this brachiopod right here, y'all. This is a different one. Something else is going on with this guy. 
I don't think I've actually seen one that looks exactly like that yet. So that might be some sort of other species. And that one right there maybe looks a little different as well. I don't even know if that's complete right there, but that's part of a brachiopod. And I see one right there too. Oh, that one looks very similar to this one, but a little bit different. These are just so cool. They're going to look really good all cleaned up, especially. Really excited about these. I'm going to give you all another little fossil hunting moment right here. Tell me what you see in the comments below, because I see all kinds of cool little fossils. It is just beautiful out here, too. Look at this place. Rockport Quarry, Alpena, Michigan. That thar be looking like a cool one right there. Brachiopod. Nice. I would highly recommend visiting Rockport Quarry here near Alpena, Michigan if you want to do some fossil hunting in the area. It's super relaxing out here just to kind of sit around and pick up brachiopods and crinoid stems and all that kind of stuff. And it's just gorgeous out here. So definitely put this on your list if you guys want to come to Michigan and check out some stuff here. There's a little coral piece right there that was coming out of the rock. And where did I see? I saw a coral. Oh, there's like a horn coral in the stone right there. And I thought I saw another coral piece. Yeah, that one right there. It's like the top of a coral head. That's pretty cool looking. So all this coral out here, this is the same type of coral that is the Petoskey stones. These ones just aren't rounded by all the lake action. These are just kind of fresh out of the rock. They're pretty cool looking this way too. That right there kind of looks like a big old horn coral or something. I don't know if it's horn coral or some other type, but that's a whole one right there. That's pretty cool, actually. That's a big chunk, and it was just sitting right here. Probably just eroded out of this rock because it froze. That's a pretty cool fossil. There's a couple more of these interesting corals right here. Not sure if they're horn coral or not. If any of y'all know, let me know in the comments below. But that's a pretty cool one, and this one's pretty dang nice right here, too. Look at that. These are some pretty cool looking corals. You can tell that they that's the bottom of them right there and they grow and it would attach to things. I'm gonna keep those along with that other big one I found. Those are pretty cool and there's some more right here. That's like a little small one. This looks almost like something but I'm not sure. Come on! Oh look at this big old coral. That's a whole coral. <laughs> Show that to Rob. That one's weird looking. I kind of want to keep that one and get that cleaned up because that's a big weird coral. That is cool. That's kind of a neat fossil right there. Throw that in the bucket. Oh man, it's all over right here. There's another piece right here. That is crazy. Look at that. Huge Petoskey stone right there. Hexagonaria, right? Yep. Is the coral. Other Rob, right oh, yeah, look at that one right there. Yeah, these look pretty cool. I mean, they're not like the lake ones, but they're still just a cool fossil. And they're cool to see like this before they get all rounded up by the lake. There's a big old swirly coral right there. <laughs> they're so weird. This one's a little bit busted up, but I might hold on to this one too. They're so weird and cool. I just like this coral stuff because we do not get coral like this in Florida. So this is really interesting. Okay, everybody, we're walking around Rockport Quarry right now, finding a bunch of cool stuff. And Rob notified me of something that just blew my mind that I literally did not realize. So what, what was it you were saying? This area used to be south of the equator. Uh, because of continental drift, it's moved that far. So this was a, a warm sea at one point, and now we're at about the 45th parallel. So uh, it's moved a bit. <laughs> that just blows my mind. Like, I, I, he told me that, and I had to sit down for a second and think about it, because I was like, are you kidding me? That's just so cool. I'm like a huge geology nerd and stuff, so I just love learning about that stuff. So that's pretty crazy. I don't know, that's awesome. Thanks, Rob, for your knowledge, man, and uh, we're going to keep on looking. <laughs> Couldn't help but climb up a little bit right here and take a look at this rock wall. It's pretty cool. There's actually all kinds of little fossils in it. These are all little corals and stuff. Where's a, like a, their horn coral type fossil. Right over here loose is actually a big chunk of coral right there. That's all coral. I'm just going to leave it right where it's at. This part's really spooky because look at this crack through here. That's going to fall soon so I'm not gonna spend too much time up here but this is just pretty cool to check out up close and personal look at that big old coral right there 
That's a huge one. I kind of like it. I'm going to throw that in the bucket because I don't have much of this stuff. Kind of cool. All right, everybody, that was an incredibly fun day, just going around to all sorts of cool locations, looking for 360 million year old Devonian fossils. Huge thanks to Rob for taking us out so we can take y'all on the adventure with us as well. Be sure to check out Rob's channel, Michigan Rocks, which is linked in the description below, and give his channel some love. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.